Yeah, my broken English never mind that. Huh? Yeah. I am uh, Zandi Rose Nani Segundo. That they call me as original in Kadazan name Rose Nani Segundo, but Zandi mean Puan. I'm from Kampung Dambai, but my original Kampung is Nampasan. Now I'm stay in Kampung Kibabai. I'm now 80 years old. Um, according to my knowledge to do so I have chance to follow I follow my uncle uncle that before the world war I know some of this adat is the adat of Kadazan adat and especially the Kadazan culture I know all about the culture and that is a bit different between culture, you know. You have to know how is the adat. Also, the adat is very serious. You have to learn it. Actually, I'm not a Bobohijan because when I start with my auntie, the you know, they call Pakar, lah, Pakar Bubahizan. I know all the meaning about Bubahizan. But to do a Bubahizan work, you have to learn the Kamburongo, Nivato. But since I'm baptized, lah, we then have to hold the Kamburongo again. But only I listen and I learn what is the Bubahizan do about the works and the meaning of the Bubahizan? That's I know. The Bubahizan is before, according to my grandma, before ni belum ada ni perintah, belum ada kerajaan. They call the Bubahizan when they got a a big a fighting about the, you know, dulu bicara-bicara, kalau the ketua-ketua kampung tidak dapat selesai, cannot settle them, they use Bubahizan. And they know who is the winner and who is the loser according to what the Bubahizan do while they are doing their, uh, doing the kampurongo. So that I know. What is the role of Obahizan in the Kadazan? The role of Obahizan, uh, kalau ada orang sakit, panggil Obahizan before. Buli juga baik, because they use the kemburongo, the divato, to make the person to make kill. Kalau ada sakit, nah, that is the role of Obahizan. And about the monogit, because we are the farmers, paddy plantation, and the Obahizan do the work, ask God to bless the farmers to do the work in the field, and that they use Obahizan also. That's the rule of the Obahizan. Some of us who knows really about the meaning of this Bubahizan, they are still use it. But now so difficult to find because all the they are the old, now very old and lot got many of them already passed away. But we still carry what is the the, the advice 
from the Bahizami must follow that the culture, something like the culture and the adat we follow, what the Bahizami said before. So that I know. Maybe since I heard a lot of the young people, they are not understand that why they are not believe. But I continue to tell them, you must remember and you must listen what is the old tell you about the Babahizan advice before. So I think the young people, they doesn't believe it nowadays. It's a problem because some like the marriage, you know, the marriage, the kawin kawin punya problem. If they don't follow the proper one, their children is not in proper grow, you know. Ada cecat cecat, macam macam lah. Kalau dia tidak ikut yang betul betul punya advice according to the Bahizan before. Now I think um, I still remember there is a one that pakar Obahizan. The I think that she is a very special one. If she still can do the work of Obahizan now, got one but. Now cannot already because the brain a bit, uh, you know, lali lali already. I think no more. Did you grow up in the Bahizan culture? Yes. Can you tell us your story of growing up with the Bahizans? That's um, I growing up just to listen and just to know and just to believe what is the truth. So I follow with my auntie, my mother's elder sister. We call him, we call her Bohong Kitas. That's mean the Bohong Kitas mean the Pakarla. Yang pandai punya. That's why she ikut. So that make me know and make me understand how is the story of Ubaizan. Itulah bikin saya pandai and saya tahu yang dulu-dulu punya Ubaizan punya advice. So if we really follow, you know, I think the young generation, if they follow before punya advice, is good bah. <laughs>